Today I'm going to show you how to change out your resin in a spotless water system. It doesn't matter that I have a CI-20 or... Today I'm going to show you how to change out your resin in a spotless water system. I want to remind you to click the link here above to check out how I wash with the DI water and what the results are. It's absolutely unbelievable. With that being said, let's get on with the process. You get a wrench like this that comes with your DI water system that actually assists with breaking loose the canisters. So then we'll take that loose and I break both of them loose so that way I can do it with hand from that point forward. They will be heavy as they do contain water because this is what's in it along with the resin. I put my foot in the front to prevent it from moving. There's the first one loose. There's the second one loose. Now from this point, you can actually lay it down on its back and remove them. You can take it off while it's still standing in the upright position to keep from spilling the water all over the place. But remember, it's gonna be heavy. Now what I'm gonna do, rather than taking this other one off like I did this one, I'm gonna lay it down and show you the other technique. But it's whichever you prefer, just be careful. As you can see, taking that side off was much more controlled as I'm able to support it underneath and on the bottom. With that being said, make sure you lay these aside. Do not lose them. You will need them to reinstall your canisters. Simply stick your thumb in the center, lift up on the canister. At that point, your remaining water you can empty. Even here, you can still see that there's water in the resin. So you still have to get that out if you wanna refill these. You can drain it like this, or you can turn it upside down, take the cap off, and then just pour it out in a trash bag. You can set these out in the sun. It will drain out over time. You can see it's still coming out on this one as well. Now that you have your tanks out, simply turn it upside down, remove it. Now you can see your resin right here. Put the whole canister in a trash bag and then just start shaking. The majority will come out. As you can see, there's still some remaining that's in here that can be simply washed out. Make sure that you do not lose your O-rings in the process. Here you can see the canisters are actually clean now, they're rinsed off. Make sure that you rinse off your filter as well because there is a membrane filter that's here in the bottom. Again, I use a bulk resin, and I'll leave a link in the description of the video below showing you where to get that. And then I use a funnel to actually put it back into the canisters.
When putting the cap back on, you want it finger tight. You do not want to torque it down. Now that you have your canisters back in, be sure to put your spacers back on. Hand tighten them on there. Stand it up. Then use your wrench and just barely tighten it. Do not over torque it. Done. That's the whole system in changing this. It's super easy, super simple. And you don't have to buy the cartridges, just buy the resin, replace the resin. Remember guys, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for liking it as it helps the YouTube algorithm. Put this video up so other people can see it. And remember guys, I will see you on the next one.